All right, guys, and welcome back to a breaking news video. Today's video is exciting, it's positive, and it is pumping to the sky. Bitcoin hitting highs of almost $646,000, XRP at $87, ADA, oh my god, at $1.71, even cryptocurrencies that went over 70% over, which is access right here. I'm not invested in it, but boy, oh boy, this really shocked me. It went from $40 to $70, but we are talking about XRP Ripple today, which is ginormous, guys. The positivity around this case and this XRP cryptocurrency is crazy, and we're gonna be discussing this on today's video, so please smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel, and comment your thoughts down below. Again, I'm talking fast because I'm so excited, so let's jump right. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial or legal advisor, so none of this is financial or legal advice, but let's jump right into the content. So, yesterday, guys, on August 9th, we did get this motion right here. Breaking news, SC files emergency motion for a discovery conference regarding Slack communication. Seek order compelling Ripple to search and produce relevant communication between Ripple employees on Slack. What does this mean, guys? The SEC is pissed. They're pissed that they understand and know that Ripple is winning. And so they're like, why is Ripple not communicating with us? And the reason to this, I believe, is that Ripple knows they're going to win. You know... Uh, the SEC has been asking for extensions and oh my god 90 days 60 days here 50 days and Ripple has really you know compiled themselves they're working as a team they're calm they're relaxed they know their targets okay we want this document we want to do this we want to deposition that guy we want to deposition that guy you know they're getting all of their the, the, all the information together all of the evidence together they've got what they wanted and now they're really just doing their own thing. And of course, they are following the guidelines of the court. The SEC, on the other hand, is not sure what they want to do. You have SEC members resigning. You have SEC members getting depositioned. You have SEC members saying, okay, why are we even doing this lawsuit? You have SEC members saying, okay, we, you know what? We agree with Ripple. You know, the SEC is all over the place right now. And they understand the calm and relaxedness of Ripple. And so they're pissed. They're trying to find a way to attack. While, you know, you know, you're know, you getting attacked in every possible way. You're losing the battle, but you still want to find a way. And so this is exactly what they're doing. They're just now trying to find a way to get the judge to kind of go back. Okay, let's go back and do a conference. Let's discuss. We want all the paperwork that Ripple is talking about now. Which is funny because it's going to serve them zero evidence in the long run whatsoever. So I just thought that was kind of hilarious. It, this document is... One that really, I believe, is not going to make an impact. We'll see if Crypto Senior, Crypto Geek Senior wants to make another video on that. Maybe he'll mention this and discuss more. But for Crypto Geek Junior and me, I, be I believe there's nothing coming out of this real document except the SEC trying to find a way to get any document since they've literally got nothing. On August 9th, we also got this Rob Portman tweet which said, I'm pleased to announce that Senator Warren Toomey Simon Loomis and I have reached an agreement on an amendment to clarify our risk report in rules for crypto transactions without curbing innovation and imposing information reporting requirements on stakers, miners, or other non-brokers. This was actually really sad, okay? This was positive right here, but it was really sad because at the end, there was some very negative news. And again, the next tweet here was, Senators reach compro uh, compromise on crypto tax provision and infrastructure bill, which supposedly is supposed to be positive, but the issue is lone senator rejects crypto provision and in infrastructure bill. And what happened in this case was it really ruined this whole you know bill and it made it not get passed. We also got this other tweet that is about to head down to Senate floor to ask for a name is consent to adopt the Lumi Warren Amendment as part of the bipartisan infrastructure framework. It's not perfect, but it's a big step in the right direction. Now, this is my issue right here. And this is the tweet. I supported Send to Me, cryptocurrency AMDT. I know of its importance into innovation and job creation, but I believe it pales in comparison to the security of the nation. Which is why I called for the vote on my defense infrastructure AMDT. It's unfortunate that Dennis blocked both AMDTs. The issue is, is that he voted against the crypto innovation. And the reason why a lot of people are saying he voted against it is because, and he was the only guy, it was because 
He lost his bill and they decided to block his bill. So what did he decide to do to kind of react and basically piss off everybody else is to, you know what, I'm not accepting that bill too. Since you guys didn't accept mine, I'm not going to accept yours. And so this kind of made the whole bill that was supposed to protect cryptocurrency taxation be flipped and basically rejected as a whole. So I saw yesterday, this is another document right here that was uh, here that actually came up and was put in by James K. Fellon. It says breaking parties tee up deliberative process privilege dispute with respect to documents without by the SEC based on the SEC's assertion of privileges. Filed joint request for eight page letter addressing the issue. Then, Ripple files a request for extension of time until Monday, August 16th to respond to SEC's emergency motion regarding the Slack communication discovery dispute. It's funny because as an average XRP holder, you really don't know what's brewing underneath, but it definitely looks like there is some things that are. You know, we see the SEC is mad right now because Ripple's not communicating, and this could be actually one thing that they're pissed off and this is the settlement idea. Maybe they gave Ripple a settlement option. They told them, okay, here's what we want in our settlement. Maybe you'd get declared not a security. But Ripple says, you know what? I don't want to just be declared not a security. I want to be declared an official cryptocurrency. And then the SEC is like, no, well, that would make us look bad because we're trying to fight the idea. And so Ripple just says, you know what? Okay, then we're not settling with you. And this kind of pisses off the SEC and the SEC now is trying to just throw anything they have at Ripple and of course Ripple's smarter than that so they're taking their time uh, once again they're really annoying the SEC by saying okay we're gonna just think about it you're gonna maybe delay it a little bit so that we get a formal a well written well done uh, letter that's going to be sent to the judge and fight it back and so they are playing very good and I definitely respect them for that now we also got another document and again it's been very busy with a bunch of documents coming especially yesterday the motion to file extensive pages was granted. Judge Lepburn says the parties letter briefing shall not exceed eight pages each, though the court strongly encourages the defendant to jointly file a single 15 page letter if possible. So although Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris, Chris Larson could each file a separate eight page letter, Judge Lepburn wants them to file a single 15 page letter addressing all of their claims in that one letter. And I'm going to end off this whole section by saying, Another crazy document that Judge Netburn grants Ripple's motion for extension of time. She orders that Ripple responds to the SEC's motion and do no later than August 16th, 2021. The SEC replies, if any, is due no later than August 19th. There is a bunch of other documents that were just released today. And right now, I'm actually talking about documents that were already kind of submitted yesterday. So this is a bit of a summary because I wasn't able to make a video yesterday talking about these things so i'm making it today crypto geek senior actually has a very in-depth um video talking about all the new documents so i'm gonna leave it to him i'm gonna probably this probably it is the previous video so if you haven't checked it out make sure you go watch it right now nonetheless guys again very positive news for ripple it's been a very exciting week and we can even tell by this price pump that we're seeing a bunch of cryptocurrencies are now rising in value, mainly being XRP right here, which has been pumping. Thankfully, I believe we're going to keep on this pump. We did see a bunch of charts. I do a lot of chart reading, and it does show that we're going to keep on to this pump, and we're going to hopefully be able to see some new highs. So once again, guys, it has been absolutely amazing. I'm really excited. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. What do you think of this Ripple vs. SC lawsuit? I believe Ripple is absolutely destroying right now. You know, the SEC has been losing and is losing and they don't know what to do anymore. Ripple's being granted. Ripple's really, you know, presenting themselves very well. And it is definitely something that is sh Once again, I want to say Ripple has been getting granted multiple motions. It has just been absolutely fantastic. That being said, I am most likely going to end off the video here. Please smash the like button to support the channel. Like the stream. Please smash the like button to share your support. Subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel because I do post daily. And I try to post the latest content as it comes up. And comment your thoughts down below. As well as make sure you guys do follow me on Twitter where I retweet all the latest news. Like all of this has already been retweeted. So make sure you guys follow me. Crypto Geek News. And we are working to create the biggest Discord 
basically in the cryptocurrency industry, the official crypto community, as well as XRP Ripple community. So show your support there, guys. Join the Discord. So many brand new people coming in. Welcome, and I'll see you guys next time.